Welcome on Watches TV, welcome here at the Watches Club in the old town of Geneva and today we're having the team, well two of the three-man team of ID Geneva to talk about a watch of course but more than a watch, a philosophy. So can you come back a little bit on the inception of, uh, of ID Geneva? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, thank you for welcoming us in your uh, wonderful office. Um, we are proud to be here and, and talk about uh, Idée Genève. Um, this is our, our baby. Uh, it, we are a small brand, a uh, small startup, maybe not a startup anymore. Um, small brand and we are based on the circular economy. So everything what we're doing, uh, we try to have the lowest uh, carbon footprint uh, impact. So uh, we use a 100% recycled stainless steel. Uh, the new collection is also, uh, the steel is melted in a solar furnace. So um, the impact is uh, 165 times less than a industrial um, stainless steel. Uh, we use also um, recycled uh, material like vegetal uh, for the straps, uh, like uh, grapes uh, residue or, um, or um, green, green waste yeah, from, from the London parks. We have also a uh, refurbished movement, so we use the ETA 2824, really standard but uh, completely refurbished, so it's not new movement. And, uh, can, can you develop a little bit on this? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so we use old stocks. So we buy some old stocks from manufacturers that they don't want it anymore. So uh, and we make a, a complete refurbishment. So we disassemble the, the watch and uh, wash every part and reassemble and oil and um, every day. Uh, sure we, we have to set it. Uh, so we have uh our own standards but uh but it's not better than ETA it's just a bit different to show that we can do as good as a new movement with old old stock so that's important for us and of course we have some project to 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 improve this this supply of movement we want to develop or co-develop uh, a movement an industrial movement uh, based on on uh, material on recycled materials so this is the project in in I, I hope two years okay I mean you're talking about uh, coherence and the way you, uh, you guys are doing things but obviously I mean you can, this can be seen like kind of a trend you're kind of playing kind of a marketing game thing like that but how you know precisely the, this coherence to what limit are you pushing it I mean it goes beyond the product uh, can you explain us a little bit more about indeed the, the again coming back to this notion of philosophy uh, that you are applying to all aspects of your business yeah, exactly. Uh, what's important to understand is that uh, we are a brand that everything we do, all all steps are made uh, under uh, um, a philosophy that is done with the circular economy. So uh, everything we, we we do uh, is is uh, the most important is to push uh, the, the steps so far as possible to have the lowest impact. It, uh, and that means about materials how the brand and uh, is built on himself, um, packaging, uh, sourcings, um, and so on. Yeah. Everything has to be made under this philosophy. And this is something that you are almost, I mean, you're very transparent about it because, I mean, you also put it uh, directly on the dial. Uh, and actually, we're talking, coming back to this uh, notion of transparency, I mean, on your website, everything is uh, transparent where you source things and so forth. So it's a little bit different than what we're sometimes used to in this uh, uh, industry. And how is this perceived then? Go ahead. Yeah, uh, for us, it's uh, super important to be transparent. And uh, we can see it, as you uh, said, on the, on, the, on the website, to uh, have the possibility to influence the industry in generally. So we talk about the collaboration we do with other startups for to, to make co-developments uh, co of new materials, for example, to adjust them for the for the luxury um, uh, for the luxury uh, dim dimension, and uh, to have yeah the best feedback we can on the material on himself and on a, on a production of it of it. And we go uh, for us is even very important to go 
each time from a laboratory scale. It means um, all the all the all the development to uh, in the second uh, time to uh, an industrial scale because in the industrial scale we can have a real impact on on, on a development of, of a product. What what is important for us is. Uh, is that it's not the volume of a watch that will save the earth. You know, we, we know this and, and we are sure about this, but we think that the value that you wear on, on your wrist is really important, and this is what we want to do. We want to be a, a platform, and a, an image uh, for, for people, for, for startups, for who develops, who are the, the, uh, the heroes of the, of the climate. We, we call them the heroes because they develop things that have a big impact and we know that the watchmaking industry is not the, the, the biggest one in terms of volume but in terms of, of, of value it's really important and, and we hope that other industry can after this use uh, the, the material that have been developed for the watchmaking. So you're using, as you mentioned, refurbished uh, 2824s, doesn't mean that they come necessarily cheap because you have to uh, put them back up to, uh, to their kind of to their new life using special steel like you, uh, you mentioned I mean produced uh, I mean really hundred um, percent I mean they, they, it's, there's no new steel added to uh, the steel that is uh, is really uh, used I mean all this comes at a cost I mean you also have like uh, certain finishing techniques uh, so to whom do you cater these type of watches what are your clients? I think our, our clients are people who who wants to to wear something else. Uh, we have some of them that had a lot of big collection of many brands, and they sell it, and they say, "Okay, now we want a, to have a, an ID watch." So we have different type of client. We have also a watch addict, uh, and they just like the design because uh, we have uh, the the chance to have a, a great designer. So I think we have a design really. Um, so sober but a timeless design that is nice now it could have been uh, really nice 20 years ago and it will stay really uh, at the forefront of the um, of the um, you know it will be good in 20 years so so we are happy with this design so people like the design and but they also like what does it mean uh, and and they like to to share it uh, when they wear it, and you know my watch. Okay, it's made about 100% uh, recycled material, so they can talk about it, and they, they are our best ambassadors. So I mean, the notion of sustainability today in watchmaking has become something that is on the agenda of, uh, of, of brands or uh, customers, um, and well, you're addressing it already since a few years with your your, your approach. Uh, and before talking, kind of there's. A big news uh, uh, that is uh, coming up now. But uh, before going there, uh, you now started to use a new material uh, that goes also uh, in that uh, direction. Can you explain us a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Um, we launched now uh, a new product that is the Circular C. It's a limited edition of 20, 20 pieces. It's uh, a co-development uh, with Compare, that is, a, that is a, um, a, not a startup, a company in the EP, EPFL park in Lausanne. Um, they develop uh, carbon. So it's, it's a very special carbon. It's a, it's a, develop, a development that we ask them with um, recycled fibers. So already it's, um, uh, it's fibers that normally we have to, um, to put under the, um, the, the, the land, you know, but now we use it and they also have developed a, a special um, resin, resin uh, that is uh, regenerative. So if you heat it at 90 degrees, during one minute, the material will take the, um, the same shape as the beginning. So if you scratch it, it will just disappear. disappear. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this is the, the, the new watch. So we have a, a base in stainless steel, in solar stainless steel. And we have some decoration, the side decoration, the bezel and the dial made uh, on, um, on the carbon. So we can see there the watch has a, a new look with the B material. And of course, we are sure that that the the impact, the carbon uh, footprint impact, is is lower than a, another um, carbon or, or another stainless steel. So it's really important to have this look, to have this black and 
and, and clear look. Uh, we wanted to be sure, sure that that uh, it's now this product is has a, a, a lower imp a carbon footprint impact. Okay, and I mean you mentioned before you're still kind of a I mean startup plus uh, phase of uh, of your life. Uh, you have a unique uh, positioning with uh, your products and your approach. Um, but it is something that, I mean, other brands are starting to, you know, think about or be a bit more vocal. And obviously on the customer side, the demand is a little bit increasing uh, for, for, for these kind of, uh, I mean, new way of uh, looking the production of luxury goods in general. It's, I mean, it goes way beyond uh, watchmaking, of course. We see this in the fashion and uh, uh, other uh, type of sectors. Nevertheless, I mean, you're, again, quite young. Uh, some people know you, some people know you in the, in the community, uh, but you need to kind of push uh, and be a little bit more visible. And uh, so it seems that uh, there's a few things that might help, and that's one of the reasons why the third member, uh, the third founder is not here today, because you have kind of a big announcement. Uh, yes, we have uh, three announcem announcements. One was the, the new uh, watch we have done with this carbon, uh, and we are very happy about the, 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 the final product, and also about the solution we have found with this material. We are in collaboration with Compare in Lausanne, because uh, yes, uh, for us, it's always the goal is to have the less impact as possible with a new material. It's not, uh, and at the second, stage, I think, to found how we can use uh, this material with, this, uh, with a new approach and uh, have something original too at the same way. So yes, this is the first one. Uh, the second announce is that we have, we are B Corp now. And this is also a very, very big step for us because uh, we have built all this, this, this uh, ecosystem around this, this brand, uh, giving a lot of attention about what we are doing and how we do it. And now it's uh, like a proof of concept uh, about what we are doing and what we have done up to now from the beginning. Maybe you can explain a little bit more what is this uh, certification because I don't think maybe all of us know what it is. Yeah, um, how how to make a, a resume? A resume that. Cedric, <laughs> thank, you. thank you for the baby. Uh, no, it's a certification. They they ask for um, a high criteria of uh, sustainability of um, also the the way you manage uh, the, the the company and what you do, what you use. Uh, it goes. Uh, far beyond the product, so they ask a lot of questions about this, and we have, yeah, to to answer and answer with good answers, and uh, it took about two years and a half to make this certification, and now we are proud to be the the first Swiss uh, watch, Swiss brand watch, to be a B Corp. So it's yeah, we are really proud about this. I think it's a it's like single said it, it's a, a proof of, of concept. So yeah, this is the second announcement, and we are really proud. And the third one is is uh, an announcement that um, we are uh, we will finish uh, our fundraising uh, this year, um, and uh, we are really, really, really proud to announce that one one big star have uh, participate to to this uh, fundraising, and this big star is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. He joined uh, the brand as a partner, so we are proud to announce this. And, and we really think that he is the best uh, person to be advocate of the climate and, and to be advocate of, of our brand and of, of our values. And um, yeah, this collaboration will be, uh, will be really grateful for, for Ide Genève. Um, we really think that he will help to develop faster because we will develop the, the brand, but he will have to, to be faster to, to have a, a, a much bigger ton of voice. And this is really important for us to, to have an impact, not only in Ide Genève, but in the whole industry. And um, this, yeah, this is the most important thing. We, ha we want to have an impact, a real impact. And, and Ide Genève is, is a good way to do it. And, and we are proud to, to have Leo, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio with us. 
since now. Yeah, well, that's indeed pretty nice. And uh, what uh, are the, uh, the kind of the, the general comments that you hear the most uh, when it comes to uh, what you've uh, done so far? What are the kind of the, the, the feedback that you get, not only from your friends, but maybe from uh, other people? Uh, how is uh, this entire project uh, perceived? And will the, the Leonardo DiCaprio stage yeah. help out on this also? Uh, yeah. I think we have to ask to the other people around us, but uh, uh, we, yeah, I think they are proud too, and they are uh, uh, a bit uh, surprised about uh, mm -hmm. all the steps we have done on the, uh, yeah, during three years now. And, uh, and yeah, the, the steps, yeah, and sometimes it, it, goes it goes fast, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. I think. <laughs> and finally, uh, commercially speaking, where do, can we uh, buy uh, then your, your, your watches? What have you done to uh, have, indeed, well, points of sales, or uh, how does that work? Yeah, we have here in Geneva, we have uh, uh, La Bijouterie Grégoire. We are very proud of this uh, uh, collaboration because it's a super nice boutique and he's super nice too, Grégoire. And after uh, Worldwide, we are now uh, by Watches of Switzerland in London and even Watches of Switzerland in New York. So we are super proud uh, even of this so collaboration. So they really with adhered them. to the project. Uh, completely, uh, yeah. yeah. They, yeah, they adhered completely to the values, to the finishings on the watches, to the, to the, to the quality of the product. And uh, yeah, this is a good, good match so far. Yeah, perfect this match. I think, I think the, the, um, the, to, to answer to, to your question, the, the market that we developed is, is the European market, of course. So we are proud to be in London, Liverpool, Manchester. Uh, and and in and the United States market is a, an, an important one for us, with Leo also uh, a bit more, and um, we'll see in the few in the few months if we can develop all the market. But we don't want to develop all in one time. We want to to go step by step. We have to to also be sure that we continue to produce uh, sustainable watches. We don't want to produce just for producing. And this is important for us that well, the development that, is... You have that certification now, you know. You, yeah. you have to abide, uh, you know, there's no way out of that one. Exactly, so that's also the reason that we want to, to have um, an organical and, and, and yeah. circular growth. Okay, yeah, that's All important. Right. Well, congrats to you and best of luck for, with the future. Wishing you the best. Thank and, uh, you for being here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank All right. So well, viva green watchmaking this time, right? Hey, right, see you guys. Bye.